What is going on everybody? It's Malulani aka MT Edits and we are here with another vehicle showcase for you guys today. I'm sticking with the JDM theme as you guys can see here. We have a R35 with a crazy ass wide body kit on it. This is the Cream Type 3 wide body kit and that is Cream with a K. So this is the Nissan GTR 35 Nismo with the Cream Type 3 wide body kit. You guys are looking around here. And I don't know if you can see through the windows, we got some bodyguards spawned because I don't turn this coupe to a four-seater. I mean, it's naturally a four-seater, but you know in GTA, when, a coupe, when it's a coupe, it's a two-seater no matter what. Uh, but we go ahead and made it a four-seater so none of the homies get left out of the joyride. Um, it's got animated lights that so we'll get into. Color customizations are pretty basic in this, so we'll go ahead and get into that as well. Um, and just like the uh, R36, um, this one is having a uh, version 2 pending as well so I can give you guys uh, stuff like template support extra stuff um, for like qual not quality life improvements but just like you know extra things to mess around and fool around with um, but as you guys can see here four seater like I said um, yeah let's go ahead and get it started up so there are the animated lights right there going off. Um, it is color changeable as we will get into. Um, actually, let's go ahead and jump into it right now. So we're going to open up our trainer or uh, whatever trainer or V menu or mechanic script that you're using at 5M because it is 5M compatible. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the vehicle color menu. Uh, primary, as always, is going to change the body of the car. So we'll flip through a few colors. thing looks amazing in pretty much all these damn colors um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the blue that I had on it I can't remember what blue it was um, I think I had it on Saxon blue yeah um, the secondary color that is gonna be in control of your DRLs and the interior color so I'll go ahead and show off both of those so as you can see in the DRLs um, if you look inside the windshield you should probably be able to see it just a little bit as well And then don't worry about the um, bloom coming off the light if you think it's too strong. That's just, uh, it's not the car, that's my graphic settings, how I have my graphics right now. As I flip through these, because yeah, um, when it gets bright, it gets real bright. Um, but yeah, that's not a worry if you don't have um, my specific graphic mods. I don't think there's a graphic mod out there that does that to DRLs. I just kind of like the bloom effect that come off the of lights to make it look like an actual light source. Um, but for this one, we're actually going to leave it um, a whiter color for once. I know that's super rare for me to do, but um, I think with this color combination, that's a plain white for the DRLs would do it justice. Um, there are no wheel colors. Uh, show off the interior. Like I said, the interior secondary controls that. So as we flip through these, as you guys can see, we'll leave it on this. All right. Um, wheel color. There is no wheel color yet for right now so you can guys can go ahead and ignore that it's just the two colors that you're working with uh, vehicle mod menu um, full tuning options so as you guys can see I already have it at level 4 brakes uh, level 3 um, my bad level 4 engines level 3 brakes uh, level 2 of 3 transmission because for some reason in GTA when you have a custom car or something the transmission it increases uh, your gearbox so I don't want to get uh, so if your handling uh, meta file isn't set for a certain gear and you max this out, say you have seven gears, um, if you max this out, it'll put it at eight or nine gears. And then all of a sudden when you reach that eight or ninth gear, say you're at 189, it'll drop you down to like 120 something. The engine sound will sound horrible. So I never max out the transmission. So for any of you guys having those issues, upgrade the transmission to level two. Do not max it out. Um, suspensions if you want to. I'm gonna leave mine at the stock ride height just because it's already super low. Um, I don't want to be scraping against every single pothole in GTA because there's a ton of them. Uh, turbos if you want that on. Window tint if you want to black it out. You can uh, with no real loss to uh, the headlight or the tail lights as you guys can see there. Um, for me, I am going to leave it on none just so I can get that bloom effect that I want off my uh, headlights. And then yeah, bulletproof tires if you want to. 
um there's only one extra and that is the wing back here so if you don't want it on you can take it off if you want it on you can put it on and yet yeah, that is it um there's no 67 color no, none of that um if you want your neons you very well can um matter of fact you know we can go ahead and leave them on let's go like dodger blue that should be fine yeah all right so yeah that is going to do it as far as customization like i said v2 will have a whole lot more but for now um this will be got because i think the wide body speaks enough for this car it doesn't need all the fancy super creative stuff that i usually do i mean the body kit's creative itself um so yeah here it is an animated light four seater nissan gtr 35 nismo with the cream type 3 wide body kit now let's go ahead and let's get into a little test drive so you guys can see the handling on this thing and hear the engine sound that i have chosen to use for it let's see that wasn't even scraping the bottom that was all undercarriage that was lit so let's get out here I'm just leave it on traffic for now once we hit the highway i'm gonna turn off the traffic um so you guys can see the top speed and stuff without any car interference also my single player content is pretty much ready to release so real soon you guys should be able to see me get back into my content creating um i'm currently looking for 5m servers to hop in and play with obviously i'm going to be in nukes 5m server um when i get the chance but i also want to experiment with some other uh servers because nukes really is centered around a whole bunch of gang uh activity and stuff and as you guys see i'm a mechanic i don't do none of that gang shit i think it's you know it's out of place for my character i don't really do none of that believe in none of that like none of that so i don't do, do none of that or try to pretend to do none of that shit i think it's corny um but yeah so if you guys know any open servers that are like car based centered around cars so i can really shine and do my thing in there and feel comfortable and give you guys content that's similar to what i like to do whoops um yeah go ahead and please let me know i am all ears and i am looking get a little run here in traffic before i go ahead and Turn it off. Oh, yeah. I was hoping that middle lane or the middle of them will open up and it didn't. Oh, uh, just notice I didn't do a lighter door check. So when I pull over to um change the time of day, I'll go ahead and do that. So actually, let's turn this traffic off now. So. I Stop wasting time. Now let's fix the car as well. Oh, my bad. To the JDM fans out there. Oh, well, you're already probably, probably mad this GTR is left seating. Let me go ahead and get it sequential for y'all. As you guys can see here at max tune minus a transmission we max out at 190 this sound mod is so cool um okay real quick light check um let me make sure my 
blinkers are where I want it. All right, so left blinker, front and back, right blinker. That glare is kind of kicking, but you can see it blinking. I think front, back, tail lights, brake lights, reverse lights. All right. Oh, and let's open these doors real quick for y'all. Uh, uh, open all vehicle doors. So you get your trunk to work with the front, two front doors, the engine, and they're rattling. All right, all right. Now let's go ahead and close all vehicle doors and let's get this time of day to nighttime. All right, let's run the animated lights at night for y'all real quick. Let it finish its turn off animation. All right. Depot the B. All right, there you go. Then we have headlights, extra lights. All right, let's go. Ooh, I missed that shift. Ooh, my shifting is terrible. I need to stop at a gas station too. And we flew right past it. That's all right. When we run out of fuel, I guess that'll be when the episode ends. I didn't even take the freeway that goes straight to a damn gas station. Oh. Trying to get a little cinematic shot for y'all. That never works out. I always end up in a barrier somewhere or wrapped around a tree. Oh, didn't take the exit. That was closer to the damn gas. <laughs> That's all right. Um, I, also, I mentioned this in my last video, I'm going to mention it again here. Please do let me know what y'all think of my um, my graphics, what I got my graphics set to. You know, um, I have some people say that it looks realistic at night. I have some people say that it looks way too dark for them to even see what's going on. Um, so do let me know what you guys think. I don't want to be putting out any half-baked content or anything that y'all can't fully enjoy. So do let me know on um, that either in the comment section down below or in my Discord link to that will be in the description um if you guys are interested in getting your hands on this model there are only two ways to get it either through my tibex uh website or in my discord both those links again will be in my description down below for you guys to go ahead and click on they'll be the only two links that are there um so yeah go ahead and check that out and go ahead and check out all my other models um, i dropped this r35 because i wanted to pair it with the r36 that i dropped last week um, I'll also be dropping two more R35s. So I'll actually be dropping a uh, uh, police uh, PD version of this car uh, tomorrow. So do stay tuned for that. Um, it's going to be that PD car uh, tomorrow. And then I have uh, a high K GT R35 that I'm also going to be releasing. So do stay on the lookout for that as well, my guys. Um, so that's what three <laughs> r35s are releasing um this one today the pd version tomorrow and the high k version whenever i get to that um, i'm gonna be a big old package deal uh, for all the nissans or for all the gtrs uh, at least once i release them also be on the lookout uh the pack will be posted again in my discord and my tobacco only two places to get my stuff so if you're not in my, on my discord already 
please go ahead and do so. Um, not only does it help me out um, and show me your support, but it also helps you out in keeping you updated on anything that I'm planning on doing or releasing because I often do ask for your guys' feedback on my announcements and stuff. So go ahead and check that out. Um, like I said, a uh, PD version of this car will be dropping tomorrow. So stay tuned to your notifications and all that. If you don't have notifications, go ahead and turn on the bell notifications to get uh, uh, to get notifications when I either update something or post something. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do. You're already here, man. Um, you know, helps me out. Helps me uh, grow the channel. Helps you out if, in case you're looking for some dope car models and vehicles or just some really cool uh, single player 5M content. Uh, but that is going to be it for this vehicle. I hope you guys do like the car. Please do let me know. I appreciate all uh, criticism and feedback, whether positive or negative. It really does help out my models to get them looking extra crispy, just like this man. Um, so I hope you guys do enjoy. Again, if you guys want this car model, it will be on my website and in my Discord. Link will be in the description. I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys your support and so rocking with me through all this. Like I said, I'm not missing a single week this year. I got a ton of fire for y'all. Hopefully, the minimum I release uh, for this entire year will be 52 cars. I want to get out uh, more. 52 sounds small, but that's one, that's a car a week, and that's tough to do. So I really want to try my hardest to get that goal done for this year. I'm trying to put something out every week content-wise, car-wise all of that i want to be putting out multiple videos a week so please do stay tuned it'll help me um know that you guys are rocking with it and to keep on pushing but that's it gonna be for the video guys i appreciate you guys a ton i can't stress that enough without any further ado i'm out